My name is Dr. Amit Kaul and I'm a bariatric and advanced GI surgeon at NMC Specialty Hospital, Dubai. Bariatric surgery, to put in simple words, is surgery for weight loss. So why does an obese person need surgery? It's not only to get rid of his weight, but also to get rid of his comorbidities, that is the diseases which come along with the increased weight. And to name among few is diabetes mellitus high blood pressure, cholesterol problems, joint problems, depression, and gastroesophageal reflux disease. Obesity is considered as an epidemic all around the world these days, and it is also considered as the second leading cause of death from modifiable risk factors. So it's not only your increased weight, but the diseases of your cardiovascular system, like blood pressure, diabetes mellitus, which combinedly decrease your lifespan and it is said that your lifespan decreases by tenfold if you do not take care of these diseases in time. So bariatric surgery is not the modality of treatment to begin with. So always we advocate patients to go for lifestyle changes first which incorporate uh, diets which are low in carbs, low in calories as well as intensive exercise regimens. And in spite of that, over prolonged documented periods, if you do not lose weight, then the surgery comes into being. The most commonly performed uh, procedures these days are laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy, laparoscopic roux and y gastric bypass, and laparoscopic adjustable gastric banding. Today I'm going to talk about laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy as this is the most commonly performed procedure all around the world these days and is uh, providing excellent results not only in weight loss but also to get rid of comorbidities also. So what is essentially done in this procedure is that we cut the stomach in a long sleeve shape which is otherwise known as a banana stomach. So your stomach which was initially about 1 to 1.5 liter in volume is reduced to about 100 to 150 ml so reduced by around 85 to 90 percent. So as a result, you no longer can eat as much as you were able to eat before the surgery. And there is one more mechanism of action for the surgery. The part of the stomach which is removed is responsible for a hormone called ghrelin, which is responsible for hunger. So as a result, you no longer are hungry as well as you cannot eat as much as you were eating before the surgery and hence you lose weight. You start losing weight uh, right about from the first month after the surgery and you continue to lose weight till about six months and by about one year to one and a half year you kind of plateau out the kind of weight loss which the surgery will give you and thereafter it's depending upon your lifestyle that how much you lose more or kind of maintain the weight loss you've already gained. So as a result of the weight loss and also getting rid of your diseases you are a much better person, you are much more energetic and you feel doing a lot of things which you were not able to do before the surgery. The most important thing for you to understand is that this is not some sort of a magic that will work for you automatically and you lose weight. It's a lifelong commitment on your behalf, both in terms of lifestyle changes as well as dietary modifications. And you surely need a strong family and friend support.